time qualifying as fastest gun this year. Just remember who you're talking to, Captain. I was born with a gun in my hand. It's the chief reason why I could never get babysitters. Next up, Inspector Sledgehammer. Oh, let me out of here. Now, come on. Is that a silencer? No, it's not a silencer. This little doodad is my own invention. I call it a loudener. A loudener? not supposed to shoot all the targets. Just the bad guys. Right, 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 right. I don't know what I did. I don't know where my head's at. Results are in. Inspector Hammer is the winner with 27 seconds in speed, 116.9 in accuracy, and a zero in judgment. This is two seconds off the all-time record. Congratulations, Hammer. Way to go, Hammer. Just admit it, Captain, there's no one alive who is better with a gun than me. And if there were, whoever it is would still be alive. See what I'm saying? Hammer, you're the only man I know who can't even win gracefully. Well, I can't help it if my father was the greatest sharpshooter of all time. You know, he taught me that a gun is a dangerous weapon. And if used properly, can be a wonderful source of entertainment. Hammer! Shoot everything that moves. Hammer! May I remind you? You still haven't broken the all-time departmental record held by John Cokin. Oh, yeah? That record should have been struck from the books years ago. I hate the mention of his name. I know. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. <laughs> Hammer! The row, is that you? Of course it's me. Now listen. What is with this getup? What are you what are you dating a congressman or something? They called me to go undercover last night. I've been posing as a call girl, all right? Mm, well, that's about as far undercover as you can go. Hammer, but... please, this is important. A sleazy lowlife has been spreading rumors in the city. He said someone is planning to break out of prison and he's coming to town to kill you. Who? What? When? Where? How? Why? Well, probably hundred reasons why. All I know is the snitch is willing to give us all the information he has for a price. Here's the information. Hold this. Okay, I got it. Be at the last payphone on the right in the lobby at the Regal Ambassador Hotel in 20 minutes. He'll call you there. The Regal Ambassador Hotel? I thought you said he was a lowlife. Maybe he's trying to move up in the world. Yeah, become a better class of scum. prison and he's coming to kill you. What's that worth to you, Hammer? Just tell me how much. One five thousand. Why, you egg-sucking leech. Or your voice. Don't look at me. Hey, it's scale. Check the book. We're good you now, pal. Listen, I can't get a hold of that kind of money. I'm gonna have to check with my superior. Hurry up. We haven't got much time. Yes, Sergeant. 
Yeah, this is Hammer. Get me truck pronto. I think he went to Tino's for lunch. Let me check. Hold on. Hey, hey! What's going on? I think the captain went to lunch, so I'm gonna try him at the restaurant. This telephone is out of order. If you want to read Stop. it, please call. Hey, what are you doing? I'm calling the restaurant. Don't call the jockeys! Inspector Hammer? Inspector? What? What? Sorry, sir. I just found out the captain went home for lunch. But hang on. He could be back at any moment. Oh, great. This is great. I'll call him at home. This is Captain Trunk. Oh. I can't come to the phone right now, so I'll leave a message. If this is you, Hammer, never call me again at home. Look, well, I'm getting impatient. Inspector, Inspector, the captain just what? walked in. Good. Inspector? Put him on, put him on. What's going on, Hammer? Captain, listen. I need you to authorize a $25,000 payment to an informer. $25,000? Oh, that's right, they went union. What's it for, Hammer? For information. <sighs> to prevent someone from killing me. Forget it. Hey! What? What's it gonna be? Look! Uh Pause at 35 seconds. Yeah! Uh, listen, you little bloodsucker, I've had enough. I'm giving you 2,000 bucks and that's it. Well, couldn't you at least contribute to my dental plan? Why should I? You're not gonna have any teeth in your mouth if you don't start talking right away. Now, when is this prison break supposed to happen? What are you? Right now! And the stool he talked it was old news. Who is he? Do I know this slime ball? He hasn't been identified yet. We switch you now to an on the scene interview. Here now is David King. I'm David King. Standing inside a prison bus that was hijacked not more than 10 minutes ago. Sir, you've escaped prison, commandeered an armored bus filled with weapons, and abandoned a very attractive woman in the desert. What's next? I want to see Europe. Give me that microphone, you polyester piece of trash. I'm free. I'm free at last. And I'm going to tear this stinking city apart until my old friend Sledgehammer joins me for a little reunion. One-on-one. A showdown. Just like the old days. You know the place, Sledge. Are you watching, Hammer? Please, you owe it to me. Let me kill you! And I promise I'll never, ever do it again! <laughs> this is David King saying goodbye. Say goodbye forever, you insect! My God, Hammer, you know that man? Yeah. I know him. Well, who on earth is he? His name is John Cogan. Yeah, he and Hammer go way back. 
The man is a wild animal. Why on earth would he want to kill you? Simple. I was his best friend. Oh, come on, Captain. Stop pussyfooting around. I'll be happy to go mano o mano with Kogan. Let me tell you something, Hammer. It is not the policy of my precinct to give in to the demands of criminals. Well, I'm always happy to take requests. No, Hammer. Not while you're under my command. All right, then suspend me. I'll act as a private citizen. You won't be held responsible. No, Hammer. I see what you're trying to do. I didn't want you on the streets. So I'm keeping you on the force. I'm going to transfer you for the time being to personnel. Personnel? That's right. Kogan's going to level this entire city. I know this man. He is bad. His childhood goal was to be an astronaut. He wanted to be the first man to kill somebody on the moon. Hammer, it's one individual on a bus. How much damage can he do? Escape convict John Kogan continues his cross-country tour of terror. While Kogan moves from city to city, coast to coast, a fearful public waits breathlessly, not knowing how, why, where, or when this enemy will strike next. John Kogan, coming to a city near you soon. He's broken through the roadblock, sir. What about the SWAT team? Wiped out. No, National Guard? They refuse to get involved. Come on, Captain, you gotta fight fire with fire. Let me be a bus stop. No, Hammer. Put me on suspension. Absolutely not, Hammer. Then I have no choice but to make you. Hammer, don't even try it. No, Hammer. This should do it. Do your duty. Put me on suspension. Hammer, you're not even close. Well, this should work. Gross insubordination, right? Hammer! There is nothing you can do to make me put you on suspension. Now get out of my office! Hey, Hammer, any more of your acquaintances bust out of prison today? Hammer, you got a phone call from your old friend, Jack the Ripper. Yeah, well, I think he's chicken. Better make a movie about him. Call it the color yellow. I'm not chicken. Trunk is. He's afraid of what I'd do if I went one-on-one -on -one with Kogan. I'd shoot him. I'd shoot all of you. I didn't have so much filing to do. Hammer! I want those files on my desk now! How's that for service? I'm in trouble, right? I have no other choice, Hammer. You're on suspension. Are you happy? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. This means a lot to me. Get out! Now I can do what I do best. I won't be responsible. I'm not gonna be responsible for what happens out there, Hammer! What are you all spinning around about? Get to work! Sure. Yeah, yeah, sir. What do you want? Well, sir, I just wondered why you don't want Hammer to go. Are you afraid he's going to kill Kogan? On the contrary, Doro, Kogan will kill Hammer. He's a faster gun than Hammer will ever be. What? Are you absolutely sure? Kogan was Hammer's first partner. They knew each other when they were kids. They were like brothers. Put that on the air. Tell Kogan I'll meet him at the place he mentioned for a showdown. Showdown. The count of three, go for your gun. One, two, three. <laughs> go!
Got you again. Sledgy, 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 sledgy. Sledge? Sledge? What? What's the matter? You're sweating. Yeah. Well, it's pretty hot in here. You know, Trunk told me that Kogan was your partner. What happened? It's a long story. We grew up together. We were best friends. He went bad. Well, I guess it's not a long story. We joined the police academy together. We were partners. That was before I was made inspector. How did he end up in prison? I hunted him down and I put him there. And all for that day when he betrayed me and the badge. Take it easy, will you? I'm sure that if we talk about this, we can work something out. Shut up, dirt bag. No. Listen, what do you guys make in one year? Nothing, right? You see this groovy suit? This suit is 400 bucks. Are you offering us a bribe? No, I'm offering you my suit. Naturally, I'm offering you a bribe, you idiot. Don't be ridiculous. You can't bribe us. Wait a minute. How much? Ten grand. John, what are you doing? You take a fall for a lousy ten grand? Of course not. Make it twelve. Thanks, Ledge. Oh, sure. Anything. I just don't want to miss happy. Look, this is illegal. So is this. You know what your problem is, Hammer? You're too good. There are no heroes in this world, man. <laughs> and they never were! <laughs> Come on! I can't do it. So I guess it's just you and me from now on. understand is if you're going after Kogan, what are you doing here? I gotta sharpen my skills. See, I grew up around carnivals, and this peace and quiet helps me to relax. Trunk told me your father was a sharpshooter in the circus. Trunk told you that? Yeah. You think it's funny? No, I don't think it's funny. When my dad died, he left me two things. My name and my compadre right here. Impressed the little lady. Beat that out, Dan. And win a prize. Dan, do you remember me? Sledgehammer. Oh, lady, Little Sledgehammer. Jack boy. Well, I'll be. Duro, next to my dad, Dan was the greatest sharpshooter of all time. Well, you were. There ain't much call for a sharpshooter these days. Look, I hate to bother you, but do you remember that death-defying trick my dad used to do? Do I? When I saw him perform that trick, he left the audience speechless. How many times did he do it? Just once. Dad, I need to know how that trick is done. I promised your daddy I'd never tell. I mean, it was a solemn promise. I understand. Well, I, and then, no, wait a minute, come back. If your daddy lived, he'd have told you. What is this place? We used to play here as kids. Really think he's going to show? I guess so. My new partner, an honest cop. You better step back to row. And if I don't walk away from this, you promise me one thing. What's that? You'll tell Trunk I won't be in in the morning. Don't worry, baby. I'll give you a ride home later. 
You know, Sledge, you and I are really a lot alike. Don't you think so? No, Kogan. I got a badge. Yeah? Well, I got a bus. What makes you think you're better than me? I don't know. I dress better. What's the difference? You're here to try to kill me, right? I'm not here to try. I'm gonna kill you. Go ahead. Make my day. You're the disease. I'm the cure. May the force be with you. Forget the cliches. Let's get this over with. Remember this game, Sledgy? I used to make you sweat pretty good. You're supposed to shoot me, not my gun. Hey, quit shooting my gun! You want to kill me? Kill me. OK. With my last bullet, I'm going to blow you away. I'll win again. A loser never wins. Thank you, Dad. That's amazing. Enough hype, Jerome. Here. Ah! Well, why don't you follow me back to headquarters, huh? You better put Kogan somewhere we can keep your eye on him. I will. First for being taken off suspension, and second for becoming the fastest gun in the department. Yeah, you know how I feel about these things. I guess I really owe this to you, huh? Oh, thank you, Hammer. Very nice of you. And I owe this to you. Captain, that was excessively violent and completely unnecessary. I love that. I love when that happens. When you, like, break something, you're like... I mean, I love to see it hit. You see how it blew up? <laughs> did, you get, did you get into it? 